Hi, Dennis here. The control pass test, how are you going to measure this? It's really easy. You take your telephone in your one hand and you use your other hand to close down your nose. What you're going to do is you're going to sit up straight and you breathe as normally as possible. And, and normally I would say two or three times in and out. So when you're sitting up, of course you breathe in, and you breathe out, you breathe in, you breathe out. After two or three times, when you relax, like you're watching television or something, after you breathe out, normally, not like just relaxed, normally, you close your nose with your hand, and your other hand you press start on the stopwatch. You turn away, the phone so you don't look at the numbers and you're not going to count the numbers in your head the seconds in your head because it's not a competition remember that's really important after a while you're sitting like this the first signal you get okay i want to breathe again you let you let go of your nose and you look at the screen those seconds th that that's your number for now that's your control pause number if you're 10 seconds and lower, if you ask my opinion, I think it's really important you start training your breathing as soon as possible because you have serious overbreathing issues or hyperventilation issues. If your score is between 10 and 20, it's also really important you start to train as quickly as possible, if you ask me. In, in, in that group, a lot of people um, tend to have it every day or every couple of weeks. Um, from 0 to 10, people have a lot of problems almost every day or multiple times at a day. To give you an example, when your control pause is 10, you breathe for six persons air in and out. Okay, so you breathe six times too much. When your control pause is 30, you still breathe two times too much. So you breathe in and out for two people. Um, if your score is 40 and higher, I suggest you do not need training and there's something ev uh, something else going on. Why you want to measure your control pause, of course there's a disease or a problem or whatever. Okay. Um, I hope uh, I helped you out enough with this. And with this number you can, can check out what your uh, uh, um, um, status quo is and um, remember your control pause goes up and down every day so when you had a good night's sleep your control pause tends to be higher than when you had a stressful day okay so um, but on average you know when you have control pause 10 and there's nothing going on like a panic attack or whatever yeah your control pause is not going to be 20 the next day then something went wrong okay remember that for now i hope you have a nice day and uh, hope to see you soon bye bye